at you with another Cooking Creations. This is Chef Brandon, Executive Chef of the Four Winds Casino South Bend. Today we're gonna do one of my favorites. This is an Asian dish you'll find in a lot of Chinese restaurants and stuff, but I got taught by a, our very own specialty chef here, Chef Kuo. Uh, it's one of my favorite dishes. It is a honey walnut shrimp. Um, just, it brings sweetness, savory, it's crispy, it's toasted, it's got a lot of different components to it that really, really just sets your mouth off. A lot of taste buds just popping off. So let's dive into it. I'll show you how easy this thing is to do. And our ingredients. So we got some water, some sugar, some walnuts. So we're gonna candy those. We got our shrimp, look at those big, beautiful shrimp. All right, some cornstarch, some eggs. We're gonna break those down. We got our salt and pepper mix, our honey, sweetened condensed milk, and mayonnaise. Super simple. Let's get going. So what we got is our walnuts. So what we want to do is we want to create a candied walnut. So you got your sugar and your water. You get those rolling in a pan together. And it's about, it's about two parts water to one part sugar. So, and when we get that, you want to reduce this down on a stove. And when you, get, when you get it to about halfway, you'll start seeing a syrupy consistency. That's when you want to throw your walnuts in there. It'll toast the walnuts, it'll glaze them, it'll crisp them up. And then you go ahead and you throw them in a, on like a wax paper lined sheet tray or something just so they can cool off and get crispy and candied up. So let's, we're gonna get that rolling right now. All right, next we're gonna jump onto our shrimp while those walnuts are cooking down. So first, we wanna get those whites separated from the yolks. Because those whites, you want to get them nice and fluffy. That's what's going to help fluff your uh, your tempura batter for your shrimp. So once you get your egg whites kind of fluffed up, then you're going to want to start mixing in your cornstarch. So look, this is what we're looking for. It's kind of like that foamy, built up whites, the egg whites there. Now we'll start folding in our cornstarch to help make that batter. shrimp get them in our batter here so it's a very loose batter so this is what we're looking for because you want to be light and crispy right. and you can do this on top of your stove just get just get um, enough like vegetable oil um, probably about a couple inches on your pan just so that the shrimp are submerged you can do this right on top you don't have to have a deep deep fryer All right, so we got our shrimp done. When they're all done fried up, I usually hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper right over the top to help season them up. All right, and now next is our sauce. So, we've got our mayonnaise. Sweet and condensed milk. So with this dish, I said it was a sweet and savory dish. That's what I like about it. It's got a little salty hint to it. Sweet condensed milk, a little honey, some mayonnaise, gives you a little tang to it. You know, when you see these components all separate, you're like, what? <laughs> Trust me, it's something that's gonna, it's gonna make you feel good when you take a bite of this. You're gonna be surprised, I'll tell you that, I was. All right, so you see, it's kinda got those components all mixed up. There was something that I gotta remember. Candied walnuts, we got them ready. Let me show you what they so look like. So you see, like. they get nice toasted. They got, they're glazed, sweet, crispy. Mm. So what we're gonna do is, this hot shrimp, you wanna get this glaze on there. And what it'll do, it, it acts as a glaze with the hot shrimp. It'll actually glaze over them and, um, and it'll almost turn translucent once you get them mixed up with your shrimp. Coats them. Oh, oh, oh. Chef Quo, you'd be proud of me, man. Here we go. <laughs> we got our peak, our walnuts. Get that thing turned up. All right, we're about to plate. Here we go. 
All right, there you have it. Simple dish, sweet, savory, one of my favorites. Please try this at home. You're gonna wow your family, your friends. This is, this is a knockout. So from my kitchen to yours, Chef Brandon signing off. Another cooking creations.